What's up guys, Zack Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. I'm hanging out in the Dark Ages world and it's only a matter of time until part 2 of the Dark Ages is released. Until then, we have a brand new pinata party and guess what? Drum roll please. There is a brand new premium plant called the Peanut. It's like a blend of, of the pea shooter and the walnut. I'm going to show it off in today's episode. But first, we're going to do the pinata party. Let's go ahead and play this event. And, uh, I, I will tell you, oh, here we go, complete, okay, survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies, don't let zombies trample the flowers, this looks like it's gonna be tough, okay, oh boy, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do with this, okay, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, that's how we'll do it, and there it is, right there, the new plant, right there, the new premium plant, it's called the peanut, and, uh, we're just gonna have to figure out where this stuff is gonna go, um, I think that's a good start right there, this looks good. Uh, and it, as you can see, he's going to have a little bit of defense to him, and he's also going to have a little bit of firepower. So look at that. And it's interesting when he gets eaten, because when he gets eaten, like, half of him disappears at first. So we'll see it. You'll see it. It'll be cool. I'm just going to try to deal with the uh, the influx of these guys here. I don't know how this is going to work out. Okay, good. We have... Uh, oh, down there is definitely a place. There we go. Look at that. We got a lot of them there. And uh, I'd rather do... Now, now look, he's being eaten at... The imp's eating him, he's gone. But see, he's not as strong as the walnut, obviously. But anyway, this is really cool. And uh, after this, I do have a very special video to show you guys. The fine people at PopCap sent me over a little trailer, a little sneak peek of part two of the Dark Ages, and I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I can. And uh, let's see what his uh, ultimate power does. Here we go. Yeah, I probably should have used that a little bit later. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we have another one. There we go. Oh, brother. Okay. Well, we have an extra one to replace it. I should have uh, thought of this. Let's see. There we go. He's good. He's good. He's still taking some damage. And look, he has a little helmet over him now. So that's pretty, pretty snazzy. This guy's about to be eaten. I'll be ready. You'll see. Like, half of him disappears first. Let's replace him right now. There we go. Oh man, I really want... Replace him. This is tough, this is tough. Oh no. Uh, I'll save that bean for later. Who needs that bean? Someone like right there needs that bean. Oh my gosh. Replace it. I'm in the replacing business right now. But it's not too bad. Oh man, I forgot that guy up there. Oh no. Here we go. Someone eat that. One of you knights eat that. Get some coins. Yeah, I replaced it. Oh brother. Okay, come on. Oh man, there he is. Man, this is tough. I need some more plant food or something. Can't believe this is taking so. There we go. Got it. Now we got to figure out who would be best to use this on. I'm gonna guess there, because I got the cherry bomb right. Boom. There we go. It looks pretty good. That was a good man maneuver, I think. And uh, you know what? I want cherry bomb like boom. Uh, honestly, probably here. Cause so I get some plant food, and then I can bring the plant food up here. Oh, that was close. Uh, here, quick, can, put that down. can someone eat that? No? Okay, we got one more wave. One more big wave of this. Oh, this is not, okay, here we go. Here we go, this is, here, that's perfect, right there. Boom, gotcha. All right, this is turning out to be a great pinata party round. Here we go, boom, ta-da! Power Zap Sprout and 1,000 coins. You know, it's been a long time since I've been to my Zen Garden. I'm curious what's there. But there we go. We beat that pinata party. That was awesome. That was really cool. All right. And now, uh, let's check it out from PopCap themselves. A sneak peek, a brief look at part two of the Dark Ages. Here we go. Hey, fans. Welcome to PopCap. We're going to give you a little tour of our studios and a demo of Dark Ages part two. Let's go. Let's go. 
Welcome to the PopCap studio. This is the PVZ2 area. We've got artists, engineers, QA, production. This is really where we make all the PVZ2 magic happen. Well, let's go find Borja so we can get a demo of Dark Ages Part 2. Come on. Welcome back, guys. We're here with Borja to talk a little bit more about in-game play. Let's start with the map. We've got 10 new levels new plants and zombies. We've also got a new challenge zone, Arthur's Challenge, and a new zombie boss battle to really test your skills. We're gonna jump straight into a level right now. So as you can see, we have uh, all the plants from Dark Ages Part 1, and I'm gonna pick two additional plants from Dark Ages Part 2, Magnet Room and Peanut. So as you can see, we're mid-level here. We have some of our favorite plants already in place, and coming up is gonna be the King Zombie, so keep a close eye. The King Zombie lands on an imp and then actually sits there apparently just waiting for something to happen. And you'll see now as normal zombies come in, what he actually can do. Here, a wave of otherwise pretty harmless peasants get actually knighted by the king. In a single move, a normal peasant actually becomes the knight. Mm -hmm. You know the knight from the first part of the of Dark Ages, it's a really tough zombie to battle. So here's where the Magnus Room actually really comes in handy. Um, by planting the Magnus Room, you actually pull the, the helm away from the knight and make them vulnerable again. Overall, you actually want to get rid of the king so that he stops knighting new zombies. Additionally, you can actually use the plant food effect for the Magnus Room and actually take every single knight and just shoot the helm back at them. So next up is the wizard. The wizard uses his huge magic skills to actually turn some of your plants into sheep. When a plant gets turned into sheep, it actually just sits there, doesn't really do anything for you. So what you have to do is destroy the wizard immediately and get your plants back. As you can see, a small wave of wizards can really hurt you by actually transforming some of your plants into pretty much useless sheep. So you really want to make sure that you destroy the, the wizard as fast as you can. So this is a great time to use our brand new premium plant, the Peanut, to take care of these wizards. The Peanut is a combination of both Walnut and Pea Shooter uh, by using the defensive capabilities of the Walnut and the attack of the Pea Shooter. Thanks for hanging out with us for a demo of Dark Ages Part 2. We'll see you next time. All right, and we're back in our Zen garden right here. Gonna go ahead and pick up some plants for using as a boost. Let's plant this plant, see what it is. All right, just a pea shooter. All right, well, you guys know what we're gonna do, don't you? If you guys saw my last episode, I reached level 200 of the Pyramid of Doom. And you know, I don't wanna risk anything crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and re-enter the Pyramid of Doom and see how far I can get. Now, I don't know. I I'm hoping to make it to 205 today. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I don't know. There we go. We're gonna start level 201. I can't believe I made it this far so far. Uh, but we have five plant food. We have five lawnmowers. We're ready to go. Uh, let's pick our power up. The sun is gonna be my choice, obviously. And, uh, this is very tough. Uh, we got gar 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 Gargantuar already. And, uh, like I said, um, this is gonna be very tough. Uh, we're gonna pick, uh, pick what we always deal with here. Which is this. I like to boost it. Um, which is cool. Now, I'm curious. Can you... Well, that's a good question. Can you use those mushrooms here? I think you can. But I'm not going to risk it yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, duplicate it. Uh, where's my peanut? Do I even have my peanuts? On, oh, I don't have the peanut yet because it hasn't offered it to me. That's fine. Don't need it. There we go. Take that. Take. Uh, let's take this. The plant food, obviously, is what we'll need. We'll take that. Um, we will take both of the both of the melons here. That's pretty much the only thing that we take at this point. And, um... Yeah. Uh, just making sure I'm doing everything right. I, I do kind of want to bring in a premium plant, but I think I'm good enough right now with the ice that we should be able to win. Now, this is just to get me back into the swing of things. Um, I'm going to bring... I'm, this is just a test. I'm going to bring this in. Let's rock. Here we go. All right, get this going here. Get some extra sun. I'm nervous. It's been a while, so I'm nervous. So use two of those. How, who knows how many rounds there are? There are two rounds. I now know how many rounds there are. And we'll start off with just uh, freezing everybody, just for the heck of it. Keeping everything in line here. Turned up the volume, I forgot the volume was so low. 
Sorry about that. Freeze everybody. More flowers, please. Uh, I'm also gonna need more, uh, <laughs> more of a lot of stuff. Here we go, more of those. Perfect. More melons. This should be pretty easy to go through. More flowers, more melons, etc., etc. There we go, looking good, looking good. More freezies, more flowers. Now let's do another melon as soon as we get the opportunity to. Here comes the Gargantuar. There are two Gargantuars right here, right now. Let's bring in a plant, bring in a flower, bring in a freeze, there you go. Hopefully very soon I get the, uh, the next melon that I'm looking for. Right. A little bit on edge. It's okay. There we go. Does this work? Does this guy work? Does he work in the... Let's freeze. Freeze. We don't need this. I'm sure he works. Why did I put him there, though? Let's put him here. Yeah, he works. Okay, great. That was just a test because there's a new strategy that someone told me about. And I do apologize for forgetting who told me about this. It was so long ago. But there's a new uh, strategy. Um, you could basically use those mushrooms boosted. And uh, you should have no problem with a stage like this, so we're going to try that. Hopefully this video. Soon, otherwise. Freeze, everybody! Do it, please. Thank you. Beautiful work. More plant food. We're going to want to keep this plant food alive and well. There you go. Now I'm going to go for the rest of these melons here. Again, this this should be easy. Let's fast forward this. We're we're pretty much in the winning zone right now because of the, uh, the ice that they have. Freeze them all very soon. There you go. Freeze them all again. Perfect. Uh oh, here we go. Get that plant food. Yeah. They are definitely coming at me quick. This should really be an easy round. Shouldn't have any problems with this at all. Fast forward, it was slowed down because the, the pins got really close. Freeze again, there you go. Forgot about the freeze. Keep the freeze coming. And then we're gonna need uh There we go. Freeze everybody, oh yeah. Alright, so this is obviously gonna be a really easy level to, to complete. I'd say we're pretty much done. We're just waiting for everyone everything to die at this point. I'm pretty much done planting plants. Uh, anything they throw at me uh, is going to get basically chewed up by the spike rocks. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Winter Melon Onslaught. Come on now. There we go. Again, I'm just basically w waiting. I'm just waiting for the melons to do their damage, to do their tricks. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. For, for sake of symmetry, there we go. They're getting awful close to to uh, <laughs> my sunflowers, which is okay. But hopefully we got this. Final wave coming up. There we go. I'm just pounding him with all the melons here. But I think I will make it to level 205 this time around. I think. We will see. Oh, yeah. There you go. Freeze everybody again. And I'm really wanting to try out that, that mushroom strategy that someone told me. All 
Alright, come on now. I wish I had an explosive. There, he's dead. Look, and we finished with the symmetrical layout. It couldn't get much better than this. <laughs> All right, uh, next level, I really do want to try this strategy out. I'm just so afraid. Oh, we got this. Perfect. I'll accept it. I'll, maybe I'll do it the third level then, since we don't have sun this time around. Uh, well, what should I do? You guys, oh man, what should I do? I hear that this is just a very devastating uh, strategy, and I really, really, really want to try it out. Uh, but in case it doesn't work, well, no, you know what? Let's just do it. There's risk involved in everything. <sighs> Let's risk it with the puff shroom. What do you say? Let's boost it. And then, yeah, we're running low on the gems, but I really want to try out this strategy. Duplicate it. And then, of course, we'll bring in the typical. Like so, just in case we need it. And I think we're good. Um, spike rocks even, probably. Oh man, let's try it. Let's do it, let's rock! I hope this works so much. Basically, since they're boosted, they'll get rid of like everything. And they'll stay alive, too. And they'll all fire at once. And they're free. So hopefully they're right. And they're, the, the free part is the key part here. I don't even know if I need uh, flowers at all. So yeah, he was just murdered. I might actually have to move those flowers out of the way, which is kind of weird, but I might have to. Yeah, so you gotta wait till they get closer. Shredded. Yeah, look at that. It's so great. I really don't know about these flowers. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about them, but... Trying to get through them right here, right now. Look at that, that was so great. Whoa, got a new uh, achievement right there. Look how quick this goes. This is just going really easy. I really enjoy this, because it's so easy. <laughs> of course, this puts me at a bit of a disadvantage, because now I'm running out of gym to spin. Look at this, this is just insane. Space in the back to keep putting these in. Well, they are getting kind of close, which I don't like. Which I really don't like. Oh god! Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, you know what? Sorry, they got a little bit way too close. I don't know what happened. We got way too close for comfort. I don't know what in the world happened there. Okay, yeah, they're too close. This isn't working exactly how I thought it would. Oh god, <laughs> okay. Well, 
crap. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Trial and error, my friends. Definitely not as, as awesome as I thought it was going to be, but still, not super bad. There are way too many enemies for this. This might work with uh, some of the fewer enemies, but right now this feels like a no-go, like a big no-go. <laughs> like, okay, this is very tough. This is very, very tough. everything right now please you're welcome there's a sprout hoping for one more plant food all right there we go let's just slow them down a little bit maybe make my mushrooms more effective thing to do, I don't think. Alright, let's just go. The strategy is okay at best. That wasn't the worst, but, you know, it could have gone a lot better. So that's a strategy you could, could consider, for sure. No idea if I would recommend it. I mean, it seems okay if you, maybe if you plan ahead, you'd use the winter melons. I don't know, I'm gonna take the sun this time, though. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. We got more Gargantuars, unfortunately, but we got, uh, to deal with them. Uh, this time I'm gonna boost, uh, my plant food. And then uh, if I have one special thing to bring in, it'll probably be uh, this guy, the squash, with the first strike. And hopefully we'll be able to do this quite well. I think we will. Um, I don't know how many rounds this is going to be again. This is level 203. And uh, as a reminder for anyone who might be new, each and every time that I do this, it's a brand new thing. It's a brand new... Yeah, you got it. You guys got it. It's a brand new record. That's what I'm trying to say the whole time. And uh, I'm going to just freeze this guy. Let's be quick. We got three rounds. That means I'm going to spend all of my uh, plant food on sun for the moment, for the time being. Go ahead and just take him out with that. Why not? I'm going to freeze that guy because I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, nice. All right, we already got three winter melons out. I think I'm gonna hold out uh, for the next one, maybe. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. Yeah, do some damage. Perfect. And then, uh, I don't want to cause any alarm, but there we go, freeze him. Make sure this is gonna work. My fourth winter melon. Put out another one of these. There you go. Go out. Go and do some damage. Do whatever you must. Take him out. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Looking good. Looking great, in fact. Boom. Go damage whoever you need to. Got this. Uh, you know what? Need to freeze him really quick. Sorry, just didn't realize we were falling so far behind. Me. Oh, brother! All right, there you go. As soon as, yeah, I'm freeze him again. There you go. Perfect. There we go. There we go. These guys are tough. I'm tougher. Alright, good. Pretty solid. Alrighty, yeah. My plant food. We have a sprout. Now the spike weeds up in the front here get rid of the imps a little bit faster, which means that I, I'm able to uh, basically spend more time clinging watermelons backwards. So. Oh, wow. 
watch out. I need to freeze him again. My doom is certain. No, it's not. Let's get him. So far, so good. Okay, now we need to probably freeze again. If I can find some room. Yes, frozen. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. more dropping dead. We're getting more and more coins. This is fantastic. We're running lower and lower on uh, flowers, though. Okay, now here's the real wave. This is what's really going to kill us. This is uh, coming through hard. Take him out a little bit. Knock him down a notch. I think. Maybe. They're all going pretty fast for me right now. I'm trying to tell what's going on. But if I'm lucky, then this is my fifth and final plant food. My flowers are going to be relatively intact. Yeah, there we go. That's great. Was that it? Was that the final wave? I sure hope it was. Because then uh, I'm, I'm solid. I'm good. There we go. That was great. That was wonderful. Okay. So we got two more levels until 205. And then at the very end of this video, I'll end with another little clip from uh, from part two of the Dark Ages. So hopefully you stick around for that. Yes, no gargantuars. That means it's great. That means everything's going to be all right. Uh, perfect. All right, so no gargantuars allows me a little bit of freedom. Um, usually I use that to uh, get rid of one of my things that I, I may not need or that I may not have find useful during a gargantuar level. Uh, one of my boosted plants, that is. And oftentimes that is something like, you know, I'm probably never going to use a... T th this guy, this guy's always... I always use this guy for these situations. Here we go. It's rock and roll, and I really don't know how many waves this is, but I never do. So that's just part of the thing. It's part of how this game works. Kind of wish it would tell you instantly, but whatever. So I like putting the shield up first. I like uh, putting down the spikes when I can. No more spike rocks, please. And uh, overall, this should be really good. Um, just trying to do as much damage as I possibly can in a narrow time span. Got a, a gem, there we go. Okay, now it's time to dig that up, put a new one in. Dig it up, put a new one in. There we go. How many 
god. Yeah, they're still there. Okay, good. Let's just use this. And then uh, we're gonna need some more spike spike weeds as soon as we can. Some of these guys are already walking through them, but you know how it goes. Spike rocks, sorry. And a sprout. Okay. Yikes, put a new one down, put a new one down, don't let him slip through. I think one of them slipped through. Oh well, I'll take care of him pretty soon. I think we can spare another one of those. Alright, where? I need to put down more spikes. That's probably something I'm really missing. That would really help out. Uh, as soon as I get enough sun to do that, like we need one in the middle there. We need one a row above. Hopefully doing so we'll take care of these guys. And make it not so hard to, uh... Is there one up here? Yeah, let's just put one of these there. There you go. Hard to tell where there are and are not spikes. Uh-oh. Gotta put a new one down. Okay. <laughs> Got a gym. There we go. I'm liking these gyms, that's for sure. There we go. Uh-oh, need a new one already. Basically, it's just trapping them behind this, hitting them with enough melons to, uh, you know, really prevent them from breaking it down, and then also keeping the spike rocks there to do enough damage so that they don't, you know, pack up along the, uh, the area as well. It's overall a tough balancing act, but uh, it's better than going up against Gargantuars, in my opinion. Gargantuars are tough. There go, another, yeah, we're, we're stocked on, uh, on plant food, which is good. There we go. There we go. Beautiful stuff. And overall, I mean, this is level 204. We got 205 coming up very soon. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Yes. Well, there we go. We got one more level here, and then we'll be done with the video. We'll be done after we uh, I show you guys the other clip that PopCap gave me. And just to clarify, no, this is not like a paid promotion or anything. I'm just a huge fan, and uh, they provide me with clips to include in my videos because I know you guys are huge fans as well. So, here we go. No gargantuars. Perfect. I'm happy. <laughs> this is good. This is a good way to end this. Uh, so, I'm going to... Uh, which which item do you think I should get rid of first? The torch would be a good item to get rid of, but nah. Uh, maybe this guy would be good. Actually, you know what? This guy would be good to get rid of. I think. Let's rock. Let's do this. I'm gonna put these down level 205. This is the uh, final level. This again will be another record as soon as I beat this, so. Uh, one wave. One wave. Great. Great. Uh, how should we deal with this? <laughs> Wasn't ready to deal with this right now. Let's freeze this guy to kind of collect our thoughts. Uh, we got a lot of graves around here. <laughs> That's all the thoughts I have right now. Yeah, we got a lot of graves around here. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what? Let's try. Let's try the trifecta. 
of winter melons. One in the top, one in the middle, one in the bottom. And that pretty much covers it. Uh, these guys are not my friends. I still want so many graves, I can't do anything about it. Good job. Uh, <laughs> so the cool thing is I can do that and I can sell these guys right here. Them to it'll buy us some time, and I don't know if we can recoup our plant food. I hope we can, but why do I what? Why do I have this there? What the heck was that? I don't think it's gonna be strong enough to uh. Okay, yeah, we are in trouble. Freeze him. I don't think, I might run out of plant, you know, I might have a plant food issue. And so next, you know, level 206, I might need to use my plant food. I wouldn't be prepared for a lot of this, so. Uh, good news is I have this. help too much I guess but I have it yeah this is crazy this is insane this is an insane level go ahead and freeze them all again and again oh my god this is this is quite terrible actually this is uh not gonna be very far look at how many guys there are try to be cool collect my plant food move on uh, what I really need is something like this to... Here we go, this should quickly end a lot of them. Yeah, there you go. I knew that would work, but I wasn't really wanting to go without the plant. Whatever. I'll just get some more plant food next time. I'll see you then. And guys, here it is. Another little clip showcasing part two of the Dark Ages. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.